Hello friends and welcome to this week's edition of Ipswich Town Transfer Talk, bringing you up to date with everything going on at town, separating a bit of fact from the fiction. My name is Mark Heath and with me this week is Andy Warren. And in terms of fact this week, Andy, there's no doubt about it, town have made two more signings, Connor Chaplin, George Edmondson. Let's go in chronological order, starting with the first, the ninth of the summer. George Edmondson, six foot three inch defender from Rangers. Tell us about this one. Yep, £750,000 uh, in the region of that, similar with Chaplin. So actually, Ipswich have, um, Ipswich have spent the best, best part of a million and a half this week, which is, which is un, unheard of for Ipswich Town in, in, recent, in recent years. George Edmondson comes in from Rangers, like you say, six foot three. He's right-footed, but he, I think he prefers playing on the left, the left side of that, of that back four. He's been described as a as an old school defender in the past, but I, I think he's more than that. He's 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 comfortable on the ball and he can play. He mm. can play as well. Um, high on potential, a bit light on football in recent years. Hasn't played too much during his his time up at, at Rangers, but when he did, there there'd been some some really good moments for him up there. I think the fans liked him, but. At a club like Rangers, you're you're going to face a battle to get into a team as a 21 and a 22 year old as as he was up there. I think he he scored a couple of goals for them. He's a threat in the box and and had a fairly decent loan spell at Derby in the Championship uh, at the back end of last season as well, uh, despite mm. being dogged by a few injuries. So there's um there's a lot of reasons to be optimistic about this one. It's a deal Ips which didn't necessarily think they would be able to do given interest from the Championship, but they moved quickly at the right time and, and managed to hold off some kind of late hijack attempts to to get their man. And interestingly, and this is the case with a lot of the, uh, the players they've brought in over the summer, it's a long-term deal. Most of them have been three years, but George is, is a four-year deal, isn't it? It is, yeah. Um, that's what clubs that are, are able to build for the future do. They they give their players long, long-term long deals. I think that just shows you the kind of the kind of player and, and, and age, really, that they're that they're signing that the reason we haven't seen these longer term deals in in the past necessarily is because it's been maybe f a lot of loans for a start and and free agents who um free agents who are maybe that that little bit older and you you don't put that that amount of financial commitment behind a player who's 29 30 um whereas you do at 23 especially when you paid a fee mm. um it, so uh so yeah it's good to see it's it's all part of a all part of a plan moving forward and that's um that's what Ipswich need Mm. And one imagines, as you say, with with his kind of history and, and the amount of money that Town have paid for him, he's going to be brought in as a starter at centre back. I'd imagine so. Yeah, I'd um, I'd, I'd be I'd be surprised at this stage if he wasn't. He's here in good time to kind of get in into the swing of things in time for the Morecambe game on August seventh. I think we're we're likely to see him, of course, against Millwall um, tomorrow in the final final preseason friendly. It'll be interesting to see who he starts with. There's mm. either Toto and Siala or Luke Wolfenden. There's each of them bring different qualities to to the table, and it'll be interesting to see um, just which way Cook's going to go with that one. Okay, so George Emerson signing number nine from large to little in terms of stature, but not in terms of signing. We've talked about marquee signings this summer and Town being ambitious. Um, and in Connor Chaplin, the tenth signing of the summer from Barnsley, this is both a marquee signing and ambitious. He was a regular for a side that finished in the Championship playoffs last season, um, and he's decided to step down the division to come and be part of what's going on at Ipswich Town. Yeah, that's exciting, isn't it? It uh, doesn't happen very often. Um, like you say, he was a big part of Barnsley's team, which which made the playoffs, playing a quite unique style of football under Valerian Ishmael. There, high, high energy, high high pressing and and again they've managed to convince him to to join this um and I hate this I hate this expression but to join this project um that Ipswich have got ongoing ongoing here of 750 ish again um so a decent fee and a and a good contract for mm. for a player who um who Paul Cook knows well having managed him at, at Portsmouth um so it'd be I'll be interested to see where he plays as well because under Cook at Portsmouth, very much through the middle, a central mm -hmm. striker. I can't see him. It's going to be a struggle for him to play there here. Um, he could play maybe as the number 10, but more likely, I, I would say, would be him playing wide, which is where he, he largely played for Barnsley for Barnsley last season. The, the thing that excites me most about this is uh, that with, with more signings still to come and one of those potentially likely to be a winger as well. They've signed Connor Chaplin from from the championship and I can't sit here right now and tell you that he's going to be a, a nailed on starter in this team. Um, yeah. I think he probably will be, but um, it's not a given. 
options and, and like has been the, the case in a lot of the, the guys that the town have brought in this summer as you say he's versatile he is diminutive he's pacey and, and paul cook having worked with him before said that he's the best finisher he's ever worked with andy we'll see won't we um <laughs> that's, that's quite that's quite that's quite an accolade to, to yeah. give someone so it's something to live up to um hopefully he can show it here yeah no pressure um there is a there is a chat with with con actually on our website this morning where he talks about saying to, to outsiders it, it may look a bit silly that he's dropping down but talking about why he wanted to do that Andy, you alluded there to further signings that is always the question we've got 10 in people want more people want more mark ashton last night said there is going to be more he said that frequently um hayden coulson the left back from middlesbrough is one that we've reported previously um is there any update on that not really. It's still, it's still in the same state. It's still a deal they want to do. It's still a d- deal they're like, very expecting to do it. To do, I think there's a bit of an internal discussion about it at Middlesbrough about the best way for him to actually move on. Um, so he's still one that I would expect to to see Ipswich sign. And um, depending on when that signing does or doesn't happen, will we'll dictate whether whether or not he has a chance of being the starting left back heading mm. into this season. Otherwise, it'll be Matt Penny. Mm. And other, other names obviously we've mentioned, you mentioned there a winger, further signings. Uh, Bursant Salina is, is a name we've, we've linked before. Are there any updates generally? How, how many more do you think Town need in terms of uh, players to bring in? I think they need a few. Um, I think the last couple of friendlies have maybe shown us some so, uh, so, some areas where they may be a little thin. Um, mm. I'd say a minimum of three. I would I'd probably be looking at maybe more, maybe four five yeah. at most but somewhere between three and five i'd have thought would be what's still left to do time will tell as you say we'll see hopefully both connor chaplin and george Emerson tomorrow uh, in the final pre-season friendly at home to millwall follow that all with us online andy will be there with mike bacon um andy we can't go uh today without me asking you about what's just over your right shoulder you seem to have a uh is that like a, a kind of a rail of town shirts uh, it's, it's, it's a rack of football shirts yeah and, and what's the yellow one when's that from uh yeah 2000 it's a goal, goalkeeper shirt from from 2000 there you go you passed that test okay that's the Ipswich Town transfer talk for this week um, we'll be back next week follow the game from this weekend with the boys like I say uh, have a great weekend and we'll speak to you again next time